Good evening. Here are some of the headlines we're tracking today, 2nd of November 2021. This is tomorrow's news today. Death toll in Ikoi building collapse rises to 15 as rescue efforts continue. The IG of police visits site of collapsed building. Governor Sonwulu suspends building agency bus. Deputy Governor claims contractor got approval for 21-story building. Buhari joins other world leaders at climate summit to pledge end to deforestation. Rep member appeals to NAS leadership over Play 2 assembly crisis. Kebi state to old local government poll on February 5, 2022. Aisha Yesufu says Nigeria religious leaders worse than political rulers. In an exclusive chat with Guardian TV, Aine Commissioner Festus Okoye says electoral body ready for a number of elections. Now to security matters. Gunmen attack Abuja Varsity staff quarters, abduct four staff and two children. Bandit attack in Uni Abuja shows Buhari's failure, says PDP. ISO upholds 76 farmers for two days in Bornu. Gunmen attack Yoruba Nation coordinator Akintoye's residence in Adoikiti. In business, Shell unveils new energy business line in Nigeria. Nigeria attracts $8.9 billion investment in Q3 2021. In tech, cheaper cash valued at $2 billion after latest investment. Tesla says no deal with hearts yet, recalls nearly 12,000 US vehicles over software communication error. On the foreign scene, Ethiopia declares state of emergency as Tigrarian forces gain ground. Dozens killed and wounded as blast and gunfire hit Kabul hospital. Finally, in sport, Newcastle closing on Emory appointment, according to report. Blatter, Patini indicted by Swiss authorities over corruption. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you get details of this and many more now and tomorrow on our website, guardian.ng. And do ensure to pick up a copy of the Guardian newspaper from Newsstands tomorrow. Not to forget, you can also connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as YouTube at Guardian Nigeria. Have a good night and continue to stay safe.